Alright, what's going on YouTube? This is officially my first video and I will be doing a comparison on um, the Zune HD and the iPod Touch. Uh, one thing you should know about me, I know a lot about MP3 players. I love music. I was looking on my uh, Zune account today, I have over 80,000 listens in a year. That's a lot. And I've had, I've had like bottom grade MP3 players from this Sansa, which was actually pretty good, to uh, the iPod Touch 64 gig. So, um, alright, here we go. First of all, I will start off by talking about the screen. The screen on the Zune HD is a little better when you have pictures that have black in the background just because it's an OLED multi-touch interface. The iPod Touch is a multi-touch interface too, but it has a backlight. But uh, the Zune screen is a little bit better, but not enough to notice if you're in a welly lit room. And if you have like dark pictures, like the colors pop a lot more, but it, I mean, you won't notice it during music or probably even during videos for that matter. And let me just go ahead and say this. I know it's impossible to give a completely unbiased review because I am a Zune fan, but I will try to be as fair as I can. So when it comes to screen, the Zune is a little bit better, but I mean, as you can see, it has a smaller screen. And if we go to the specs right here on this page, it'll tell me that Hold on, let me get up to the top. Okay, the capacity for the Zune, uh, 16 and 32 gigabytes. So I mean, th I have the 32 gigabyte model, silver. Uh, iPod Touch, you get a little more. You get 8, 32, and 64. I have the 64. Uh, prices are relatively comparable. I mean, the iPod Touch is $10 more, but I mean, that's nothing when you're spending that amount of money. Zune does come in three more colors, but that doesn't really, the, z the color of an MP3 player doesn't really matter to me because you won't look at it anyway because it's in your pocket. Um, iPod weighs a little bit more but I mean it's like 1.4 ounces. Uh, audio battery life, this is one thing I do like. The Zune does have a better battery life than the iPod just because of the OLED touch screen. That pretty much means that not every pixel is being lit up, only the ones that are being used. And it also has two and a half hours more battery life than the iPod, which can come in handy if you watch videos on it. I don't, but I mean, if you do, then it can work. Um, both of them have glass covered screens, only difference being the Zune is OLED and the iPod Touch is LCD. Uh, screen size, the iPod definitely wins on this one. The iPod has a gorgeous 3.5 inch screen. The Zune, although the screen is gorgeous, it's 3.3 inches. You may think that's not a lot, but I can definitely tell the difference and the Zune is a lot smaller here as you can see um, online music Zune has pretty much every like standard track you'll ever need it has 5 million songs which is a lot iTunes has 11 million songs um, the Zune subscription which which is one thing that gets me about the Zune that I that's the reason I like it it's fourteen ninety nine a month you keep 10 of those songs and you get as much music as you want to. If you're a music junkie like me, then that comes in handy. iPod doesn't, so unless you want to, you know, pull LimeWire, which some people can do, I wouldn't recommend it, but that's just my choice, then you can get all of that music. I'm one of those people that, you know, needs the album covers, needs the artists and everything in there. Um, it has video, Zune has video until so does the iPod. Uh, wireless, they both have wireless, although I will admit here that the iPod Touch browser, Safari browser, is so much better than the Zune. Like, that's, that's, you can't even compare that. I mean, the iPod Touch is just like looking at it online. Plus, you have YouTube, Facebook, you have chat in there. We don't have the chat on Facebook. And then, uh, photo formats, the same. Video formats, the Zune has more video formats, but you won't need that unless you're using, like, a camera from another country. So... Yeah, and podcast support, they both do have podcasts if you listen to podcasts like me. Um, audiobook support, uh, Zune has Audible 4 and Overdrive. iPod Touch has Audible 2, 3, and 4, which are pretty much the standard uses. Equalizer options, um, the Zune has, you can go with none, acoustic, classical, electronic, hip-hop, jazz, pop, or rock. I would recommend probably hip-hop for the bass. Uh, iPod Touch has a lot. Flat acoustic, bass faster, bass reducer, classical, dance, deep, electronic, hip hop, jazz, Latin, loudness, lounge, piano, R&B, rock, small speakers, spoken word, treble booster, treble reducer, and vocal booster. Zoom does have a radio for those of you looking for a radio, but I don't use it. Um, recording options, 
Zoom does not, you know, if you get the special headphones, which I think come with the iPod Touch now. Oh, yeah, they do. Which come with the iPod Touch, then you can uh, record, you can record, like, you can talk, you know, voice memos, stuff like that, that can come in real good handy. Um, the headphones that come with them, of course, you all know the iPod, of course, everybody knows what standard iPod headphones look like. They have the ones with the 64 gig iPod, they now have the microphone, and they have where you can you know click it once to pause it twice to the next song three to the previous song that can come in real handy when running zoom headphones just your standard headphones you know they're magnetic here i mean that i don't use that i have a uh, skull candies i have my titans and my uh, full metal jackets which are back in my room and um let's see what else can i say about these display zoom wins just because of the oled even though ipod touch does have a better screen uh, when it comes to music, here, here's another thing that sold the Zune to me. The Zune, by the way, the Zune does not have speakers anyway. That is a bummer. I will not lie. Here, it has, as you can see, a bio of every artist on your Zune related. So, I mean, if you want to go on the, if you want to download those, uh, album songs, iPod has those, and pictures too, which can come in handy. This right here is Anne Berlin. Yes, I like Anne Berlin. Get over it. I like all types of music, minus country. Um, here's one thing where the iPod definitely destroys the Zune at. Apps. Zune does have apps. Let me check out some of my apps on here. Zune does have some apps. It has, um, go to apps. Audio Surf Tilt, which is kind of like, uh, it's like Tap Tap Revenge, kind of, but I don't think it's fun. So, Audio Surf, Checkers, uh, let's use what else we got on there. Facebook, Hexic, well, all of you within Xbox, you know what Hexic is. That's fun. Project Gotham Racing, we all know what that is. Um, Shell Game of the Future, which is just where the shells move around. Space Battle 2, Twitter, and MSN Weather iPod Touch, I think, has oh, its last supporting over like 50,000 apps, so you can find anything and everything you would ever possibly want and or need. So iPod definitely wins in that area. But when it comes to a uh, straight down MP3 player, I think that Zune wins in that just because you can you have the bio, you have you you pay $15 a month, get as much music as you want to, you have pictures on it, and it tells you like if you like this artist, you may like the other artist. So I think as a straight down MP3 player device, strictly MP3, I think the Zune wins. But as an overall like device, I'm gonna have to give that to the iPod Touch. Even though I do like the Zune more personally, for those the Zune is only for those few of us who do nothing but pretty much listen to music. I spend I spend ninety nine percent of my time either listening to music, riding my motorcycle, or playing rugby or playing Xbox. That's that's all I do. And weightlifting. So that is my review of the Zune HD display. I'm going to give it a 10 on there where the iPod has a 8 or a 9. So they're pretty much almost equal in that area. I'm playing music, I think it does sound a little better than the iPod Touch because I just did sit down and do a comparison between the two. I would take tracks that I bought off of the Zune Marketplace, put them on both of them, listen to them. Then tracks that I bought off of iTunes, put them, put them on both of them, listen to them. The Zune does sound a little bit better. You get a little more bass. And it's a little crisper, but I mean, unless you're sitting there with no other sounds, you wouldn't notice it unless you have, like, you know, $200 headphones like I do, like the TI, like the TIs or the Mesh or something like that. Uh, apps, like I said, iPod wins, hands down. I mean, nothing can beat iPod in the apps. Mac, Apple has done a really good job there. You, there's not really much you can do on the Zune when you're not listening to music. Uh, video quality... I'm gonna give that to iPod too, because for some reason, the when they uh, made Zoom, they didn't format them correctly to like fully for the screen. You know, we everyone knows how you can double tap to make the uh, screen larger on iPod. That works fantastic on Zoom. It doesn't for some reason. I have Inglorious Bastards on here. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. Um, and I think that's about all. The Zoom does have battery battery life, and it's a better MP3 player if you're just talking about strictly mp3 players but I mean if you're like me and you love music like I said I've listened to like 80,000 songs in a year which if you do the math that's a lot 
if you love music like me, then I would recommend the Zune HD. But I mean, if you're looking for a device that will keep you entertained 